Just a follow-up on what I say about saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbon. What I show you here, this is actually vegetable oil. Yes, you heard me correctly. This is a molecule of vegetable oil. Now, vegetable oil is used to make margarine. How many of you here actually know what is margarine? Okay, I know you know lah. Okay, when you go for a barbecue, they always give you margarine. Now, uh, between margarine and butter, I love butter. <sighs> okay, anyway, now how do you make margarine? Well, when hydrogen is pumped inside vegetable oil, the double carbon bond will open up and that's where they will form something that looks like this. Watch. These two parts, I will extend the H and the H. So this becomes the margarine that we eat. Okay. Now, of course, some of you, um, like me, who, are, who is very health conscious, um, between margarine and butter, which one will you choose? My advice is choose butter. Why? Now, margarine is actually a saturated hydrocarbon. Now, what's the implication of unsaturated and saturated? Saturated hydrocarbon are harder to be broken down, all right? So, when we eat this, for example, margarine, it will take us a long time to be broken down. So, I always tell people, how do you know whether the food that you eat is good for you? Well, if ants will eat it, means that it's good for your health. Because ant is so tiny, and if they love that, that butter and they was kind of like nibble with it, means that their system can digest it. If you put margarine outside, I can tell you the ants will not attack it at all. Why? Because they can't digest this. So between saturated and unsaturated, let's make a good choice in our food. So today, when you choose your potato chips and you look behind, hey, um, okay, I shouldn't say Pringles, I'm not, oh no, advertisement-wise, they might not ask me. Okay, anyway, uh, next time you do but, uh, eat potato chips, turn around, take a look at the ingredient. Look for saturated and unsaturated. Pick one with the least amount of saturated fats, okay?